It's interesting, I think, when we're looking at Enoch, because Enoch is sort of a very strange sort of character for us to get our head around and understand. And I think Enoch would probably be sort of like a forerunner of us in that in that way, because he was walking with God. Now, obviously, most of the world isn't walking with God and isn't aware of that yet. And I think that is the way is available for them, but they've not yet discovered what it's like and therefore they're still living in the reality of not knowing but as believers and those who are aware of god it being in us and that we are alive in the spirit then yeah we can definitely see an uh, enoch as a forerunner for us that we can walk in that reality and we can walk in the realms of heaven and earth that we can walk in that manifestation of the spirit of enoch if you like um and you know I've met Enoch a number of times and Enoch has always been quite challenging to me because he gives me quests and sets me on journeys and things, which, you know, has always been quite interesting. But I think everyone has to go through the fiery sword choice of surrender. And I think Enoch chose to walk that path and then walk through, I think, the fiery sword back to that realm um because it was still open to him to walk that way uh, and i think he chose to walk with with god as his father rather than walk according to the line of adam because adam was not his father god was his father and that choice enabled him to walk in that way of intimacy and relationship um and at work that reality of who he really was you know and for everyone in the world yeah god has found everyone god has reconciled everyone everyone has been born from above everyone is spiritually alive the holy spirit is in everyone looking to reveal jesus to everybody but not everyone is responding and not everyone has a realization of that um, that realization is always available and that realization is there and we can help people to come into that realization by treating them the way God treats them with unconditional love by not putting onus burdens on them to have to perform some religious system to come into a relationship with God, but help them realize they've already got a relationship with God. They've just got amnesia and they need to discover the reality of who they really are, which is what Jesus came to reveal. So if we can express that love and encourage people that they will find it much easier to discover the reality of God and who God really is if we don't put them through the religious hoops system to get there. Um, but for all of us, I believe that we are destined and predestined to that face-to-face -face intimate relationship with the Father. Therefore, we can walk like Enoch did um, and express that. Now, it's interesting when Jesus met uh, on the Mount of Transfiguration, he didn't meet Enoch. I would have thought Enoch and Elijah would have been the two who recognized didn't die, but he met Moses and Elijah, um, which was an indication of two different dynamics of those who did die and those who didn't die, and that there was a thing of the cloud of witnesses and everything else, which was predating the resurrection of it is going to be possible for everyone to be brought into this transfigured state of glory of I realizing who they really were and it was figurative obviously of the law and the prophets and various things when when that happened with Jesus but for us I think everyone gets to a point where there is this choice am I willing to go through this point of surrender which is the fire to come through the other side or am I going to walk my own path and avoid a fiery sword but the fiery sword is not there to hack everyone to pieces. The fiery sword is just saying, this is the way. This is the way to come to the point of surrender, to come into the reality of who you really are. And I think that will have a change in our identity. You see, I am a son of God, not a son of Adam. Um, because Jesus became the, the last Adam to undo what the first Adam did and to enable us all to come back into that relationship. So for me, the, yes, the fiery sword represents a place of surrender, um, but it's not a punishment. 
and it's not harsh it's this design to purify and refine to make everything possible again that god always intended if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much